quite a bit. But you're not serious. You don't want to sell these. I'm perfectly serious. Will you buy them? Why, Louisa? I just happen to want some money, that's all. I've been a little extravagant of late. Clothes, holidays. You know, I've always been rather reckless with my spending, and now I've come across some debts that I can't meet. Did you tell your husband about this? No. No, I um, didn't want to trouble him with it. Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. Look, honey, I've known you for a long time. You were always a bad liar. I am not lying. Come on, now. Max is a big wheel in the diplomatic corps. He's loaded. He's crazy about you. You smile, and he'll give you anything you want. Well, Max is out of the country at the moment. As a matter of fact, he is most of the time. But anyway, I don't want to trouble him with a trifle like this. Trifle? How long have these been in your family? 150, 200, 300 years? I remember I asked you to sell them to me once. Then you said you'd rather part with your right arm. Now, that must be some trifle to make you change your mind. There are at least a dozen dealers in London who would buy these without asking all those questions. Louisa. Let go of me. Look, I'd like to help you if I can. I don't need your help. And I don't need a crystal ball. You're in some kind of trouble. Now, look, maybe there's nothing I can do, but at least you can try me. You want to help me? All right. Just give me a check for these and then forget about it. I'm sorry, John. I, I know you mean well, but I'll be all right. Really, I will. Peter? Peter? <laughs> 